This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. What's up you guys? It's Alexa. Welcome back to my channel. So I know a lot of you guys have heard of the app called Wish. If you guys don't know what it is, it's an app where they sell a bunch of like cheap things. So I think electronics, maybe accessories, clothes, just a bunch of stuff for a super, super cheap price. I was inspired by another YouTuber's video where she wore a bunch of Wish clothes for a whole week straight and I decided to recreate that challenge because it just seemed really fun and I just really wanted to see what this whole Wish app was all about. I'll also link her video down in the description box so you guys can watch that as well so basically what I did was I went on the app I picked out a ton of clothes I kind of like organized them per day and I wore them throughout this whole week the thing with wish though is that they kind of play you so on the app they will have a picture of the clothes and then they'll have a price next to it and it'll just be like super huge that way they could say like hey this thing is like three dollars when really a small is ten dollars so it definitely was a challenge I must say it was really hard to find items to put together to make six dollars worth so within the six dollars it doesn't include accessories or outerwear or shoes or anything like that oh and also they get you on shipping as well so if I were to buy a two dollar top that two dollar top would have two dollar shipping I thought at most I was gonna spend like forty five dollars it ended up being like almost seventy dollars because thirty five of it was clothes and then like the other forty five or thirty five was shipping which was insane it was like ridiculous so I almost didn't do the challenge but then I found a promo code for I think sixty percent off so with my coupon code I ended up spending a lot less than I expected to I didn't have to pay for shipping plus I got a little bit of discount on the items I was already gonna pay for Mm. Just want to let you guys know this video is not sponsored at all. I bought all these clothes with my own money I know I'm rambling. I have to get through a whole seven days for this video So let's jump right into it But before I get into this video if you guys are new to this channel Don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on when I post Okay, that's it. Let's get on to this video. Sorry guys My voice is gonna be extra raspy for this voiceover But anyways, not really sure what happened to the footage of me showing you guys the top that I purchased But for Monday I bought a star mesh top and then I'm gonna pair it with with these lace up shorts the way I got around using these shorts because they are five dollars it was impossible to find any shorts or bottoms that were under like two or three dollars so I decided to use the same shorts but split them up in two so I'm gonna use the shorts for Monday's outfit and then I'm gonna reuse it again for Friday's outfit and then I just split up the costs and for Tuesday I'm gonna be wearing this black dress it's a backless dress it looks really cute on the photo so I hope it's gonna be really cute in person and then I'm gonna pair it with these first class bitch socks that I'm really really excited for for Wednesday's outfit I'm gonna be wearing this corset and then I'm gonna pair it with this tee that says more issues than Vogue because I love that quote Quote. So I'm going to use it as a t-shirt dress and then I'm gonna put the little corset thing on top of it for Thursday's outfit I decided to pick out this dress. It looks super cute. I thought it'd be nice and classy It's six dollars. So that's the only thing that I could purchase for that day for Friday's outfit I'm gonna be using this checkered flame tube top paired with those same shorts from Monday's outfit and for Saturday's outfit I'm going to be using this white and black striped romper Paired with these gold glasses, so I'm gonna keep it pretty relaxed. And then for Sunday's outfit, I picked out this really awesome crushed velvet dress. So I'm gonna pair that with these star mesh black socks, but we'll see how that works out. Good morning, you guys. It's Monday, and I'm so excited. So everything came in. It literally took a year and a half for everything to get here, but everything is finally here. I'll never get off. So I'm gonna get into Monday's outfit right now, and you guys will see how it looks. All right, you guys, so we are going to go run errands. We, as in like me and Oliver, and I'm going to go out in this outfit. I'm just running to the bank. I have nowhere really to go today. As far as this being like a $2 shirt, it's not that bad. It's a little itchy where the little seams are right here, but I mean, it was only $2, so you can't can't really say much about that and these shorts are kind of big I have to wear them twice this week so we'll see how it goes why are you trying to bite flies so for Monday's outfit I actually did like the top I am gonna keep the top I thought it was really cute these shorts I wasn't a big fan of they were kind of really big on me so I might fix them they're not bad but I've gotten way better shorts for five dollars like at the open air market and just like anywhere in general these ones I'm going to fix somehow but I am gonna keep those guys what is this uh, I mean honestly it looks like I'm going to the club 
with freaking vans on. So conclusion of this outfit, I am not a fan of it. It was so uncomfortable. I don't think it's worth $4. The socks, however, I really like the socks. They are actually really, really warm. $2 is kind of pricey for like a sock compared to Forever 21 socks. So the socks are good, dress is bad. So I still give this outfit a thumbs down. Tuesday's outfit, I was not expecting the dress to come out that way. I originally thought that it was like a stretchy material. It ended up being some kind of satin material. I don't even know if I could even fix the bottom anymore. So I might just turn it into like some kind of bodysuit. Cause I actually like the top, it wasn't bad. I'd wear the top again if it was only a top though. Okay, so this outfit was supposed to be the t-shirt dress. I should have just looked at the measurements because I'm pretty sure the length said that it was really short. The shirt itself isn't that bad. It's really thin material. It was really, really cheap. I had to pair it with some jeans and then I just paired it with my mules. All right, so Wednesday's outfit. I totally thought the t-shirt was gonna be made in those regular men's tees. So of course I ordered an extra large cause I wanted to wear it as a t-shirt dress. The t-shirt ended up being like a regular t-shirt just in those girl t-shirts. So I could not wear that as a dress. So today's outfit is supposed to be the off the shoulder dress. I thought it was gonna be a knit dress. I don't know why I always think things are supposed to be knit dresses, but this is a stretchy material, but it's really, really big on me. If they had an extra small, it probably would have been a lot better. Like it fits better if I do this. I might wear it like this only because it's more comfortable and I won't have to worry about my whole dress falling down So we'll see so me and Oliver are gonna run errands actually just one errand We're just gonna go to the post office But yeah, my backpack's actually keeping my dress from like falling down and coming up Shut up airplane <laughs> Thursday's outfit the dress uh it was really big. I mean, if it came in an extra small, maybe even an extra, extra small, it would be perfect. It would fit fine. Or maybe if I had boobs to, you know, hold the whole top area, but this, this top part was just way too big. The dress was big in general anyways. I'm not even gonna bother trying to mess around with it because it's an okay dress. Like it's not super, super cheap. It was just a little bit big. So maybe I'll give it away, put it on Depop or something and someone might want it. For Friday's outfit, I actually really liked it. Again, the shorts were big, um, I might fix that. I really liked the top, um, it was $4, so it better be good for like a small little piece of fabric. But yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I was planning this outfit. Like I was like basically wearing nothing, just like a tube top and like the shorts that weren't really high-waisted. I wish they were super high-waisted, but they weren't. So I had to throw a jacket over top because if not, then I would just be wearing like undergarments, basically. Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday right now, and today's outfit is the velvet dress with the star socks. I think I'm just going to North Hollywood today for my um, friend's birthday brunch, so that's pretty much all I have planned for today, other than like errands. I'm not really sure how I feel about these socks with the dress, so I might move the socks to tomorrow's outfit instead and then maybe take the glasses and wear that with my outfit today. Saturday's, which is this outfit, was my favorite outfit. I was originally gonna wear the star socks but they just did not go with the outfit so I decided to swap the star socks for Sunday's little glasses which I ended up giving them to my friend Jess because she was just like wearing them but they looked really good on her so I decided to let her have it. They were like a dollar anyways. The only thing is that those glasses, they're more of a yellow, yellow gold. So when I wore it with my actual jewelry, it just looked really off. It was just really yellow, like straight up yellow. I got so many compliments on this dress actually and I was excited to tell them like, hey, it was only $5 on the Wish app. Okay, for Sunday's outfit, absolutely hated Sunday's outfit. Not a fan at all. The material was cheap. The fit was just wrong, like totally, totally wrong. Like I had to clip the back of the straps together because that was the only way that it was gonna fit. I was gonna give it like another shot, but no, I'm not going to. As for the socks, I do like the socks. They were actually pretty cool. I'd wear them again and I would keep them. The only thing is that they were off on sizing. They were only a dollar, so you can't really complain 
about that. So this is how it looks without it being clipped. Like you guys could just see it's so unflattering, not suiting at all for a small. So sizing is definitely off. I would not recommend this. It was $5. I could get better things for $5, so. If anyone wants Sunday's outfit, let me know. I'll be happy to ship it to you guys because I don't want it at all. So if you guys want it, DM me on Instagram and I'll send it to the first person that asks for it. So yeah, that completes my whole week for wearing Wish outfits and it was definitely a challenge, let me tell you. On the days that I was not feeling the outfits, I just really didn't even want to go out. I did not want to wear them at all. That's just the type of person I am. But I had to wear them because it was a challenge. Would I buy from Wish again? I think I would buy from Wish, but I'm definitely going to take into consideration the price. You know, like really looking at the reviews and making sure that I'm not like buying some cheap, cheap thing. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos similar to this, please give this video a big thumbs up because I do appreciate that. If you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at the Nava Rose. And if you guys liked any of the items that I showed in this video, I'm going to link them down below for you guys so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I will put the code if I end up finding it and if it still works. Also, on a side note, it's my birthday today, so I decided that I'm going to celebrate my birthday next Friday the 13th in West Hollywood. So I thought it would be fun to invite two of you guys along with me. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be like a bunch of girls and a bunch of twinks. So if you guys want to be one of the two people to join me during these festivities, all you have to do is DM me on Instagram. Of course, you guys have to be 21 and over and live in Southern California. But yeah, I'm so excited. I finally get to meet some of you guys and hang out with some of you guys. Also on a side side note, we're so close to hitting 100K. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. And thank you for everyone who supported and watched the videos. I am extremely grateful and I literally could not have done this without you guys. So I'm just so thankful and happy. I feel like I have a bajillion thousand friends now. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. in West Hollywood next weekend. Ah, oh, dang it. So I will be celebrating. Ah! Oh my god.